Hello and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to look at an example of applying George Polya's four-step problem-solving approach. Here's the question. The length of a rectangle is three more than its width. If the rectangle has a perimeter of 36, we'll say units, what are the dimensions of the rectangle? Pause the video, see if you can come up with an answer. Okay, so first it talks about a rectangle. So I want to make sure that I draw a picture. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a picture. There's my beautiful rectangle in all its glory. And then it refers to the length of the rectangle and the width of the rectangle and the perimeter of the rectangle. So we're going to use L for length, W for width. I know, call me crazy. And we know the perimeter is 36, but it would also be helpful if we knew the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle. So you might recall that perimeter of a rectangle is 2L plus 2W. And we want to know the dimensions of the rectangle. So what we're looking for is we're going to look for this, and we want to figure out the values for L and W. In that first sentence, the length of the rectangle is 3 more than its width. So 3 more than implies something plus 3 and then twice its width, that would be two times w. So the length is two times w plus three, which I'll put here, two times w plus three, and the width is w. So what I'll do is I'll take these dimensions up here and I'll plug them into the perimeter formula that we have at the bottom. And we'll use 36 instead of p just to get rid of a variable. And then instead of l, we're gonna use two w plus three, and then plus two w. And now we're down to just one single variable We'll clean up the equation and then figure out the value of w first, and then we'll be able to figure out the, val the value of the length as well. So this is 36 equals 4w plus 6 plus 2w. I'll combine like terms. 4w plus 2w is 6w. 6w plus 6. Subtract 6 from both sides. Whoa. And we get 30 equals 6w, divide both sides by 6, and we get 5 is equal to the width. So now we know the width is 5, but it asks us to find the two dimensions. So we'll figure out the length by plugging 5 in for w back in this expression that we had to represent length. So that would be 2 times 5 plus 3. That would be 10 plus 3. The length is 13. Now I feel pretty good about these numbers. Uh, but I like knowing for sure that I'm right. So one thing that I can do is I can make sure that if I did the perimeter, calculated the perimeter based on this width and this length, that I do end up with 36. So that would be P is equal to 2 times L, 13, plus 2 times 5, and that would be 26 plus 10, which is 36, which is what we were told the perimeter was. So I feel pretty good about these. I made sure they made sense, I looked back, and this would be another example of applying Polya's four-step problem-solving strategy.